This section is about the motion. So it's referred to the textbook 2B. So firstly, uh, let's talk about what is the motion. For motion, it's talking about the distance, time, and speed of an object. So the speed can be described as how fast of an object moves. So it can be defined as the distance traveled by an object per unit of time. Usually, we use meter per second and kilometer per hour as the unit to calculate or measure of the speed. So let's consider some examples below. For examples here, you can see there is a chart to talk about different speed of different objects. You can see from left to right, the speed increase from the slowest snails to the very fast light. One of the values that you should aware about the chart here is the scientific notation. So we have learned it in form 2. So 10 to the power 3 is actually referred to 1 with 3 zero. So it's 1000. And 10 to the power 5 is referred to the 1 with 5 zero. So which is 100,000. So when you look at the value like this, you should able to interpret the value of it. And then the definition of the speed. So here is the formula that you should remember so that you can get the correct calculation. So the average speed is equal to the distance over time. So if we know the distance and time, we can calculate the speed. Let's consider the examples here. So suppose if there is an MTR train which takes 4 minutes to travel from the Amity station to the Ocean Park station. If the distance between these two stations is 4 km, then it takes 4 minutes to travel. How to find the speed? Now we can use the equation of the average speed equal to the distance over time. But we should note that the unit here. If we want the unit to be meter per second, we have to change the km to meter and the 4 minute to second first. And we can substitute the value of meter and the second. We can get the answer here. Usually, we'll take three significant figures to represent the answer. Now, here are two more examples. You can try it by yourself first. Firstly, is the world record for the 100-meter race. For 100-meter race, the world record is 9.858 seconds. So if we want to find the average speed, we can use the same equation, the distance over time. And we can substitute the 100 meter with the 9.58 second. Then we can get the value with the unit of meter per second. And the other record here is the marathon. So if it takes 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 57 seconds to complete the marathon, and the distance of a marathon is 4.24 km. Now the most important thing is when we calculate it, we have to aware the question requires us to give the unit of meter per second. So when we substitute the numbers into the equation, we have to first change it to meter and second in order to get the correct value. So 2 hours is 2 times 60 times 60 second, and 2 minutes is 2 times 60 second. So the total time is like this. So you should know how to calculate it. And now there is a concept, we call it the instantaneous speed. So if you have the experience to take the van, you will able to see the speed meter show in the van. 
And this number is keep on changing when the car is moving. Actually, it's showing the speed of a particular moment. We call it the instantaneous speed. So once again, the speed is equal to the distance travel per unit of time, and usually we use meter per second, ms to the power negative one or km per hour as the unit.